Here's why Magic Mixie's Pixlings is that girl and we need more of them. Back in 2023, the line Magic Mixies debuted a brand new line called Magic Mixies Pixlings. This line featured magical themed six and a half inch dolls with seven points of articulation and a potion making gimmick. Now I'll be honest, when these dolls are first released, I wasn't super impressed. It wasn't until I saw a preview of them at last year's Sweet Sweet that I fell in love with these tiny little works of art. They have super soft nylon hair, fun color schemes, and the faces. <laughs> There's just something about those screenings that really invokes joy inside you when you look at them. Not only that, but the gimmick isn't the worst. I mean, I can't lie, I do it every time I buy a new one because even as a 28 year old man, it's kind of fun. What I find interesting is that on any given day, these dolls wouldn't be typically something I'd be interested in. Honestly, I've never been a fan of molded on tops or really mini sized dolls in general, but I can't lie, the dolls are executed super well. Somehow the molded on tops at this scale just add a little bit of charm. They are molded with lots of detail and they fit each character's theme really, really well. I guess they just feel personal personalized and well thought out so that it doesn't really bother me as much that they're molded on. Additionally, I feel like because of the scale, the dolls feel really collectible and like you don't mind having all of them because they don't take up that much space. Truly, I didn't expect to like these dolls half as much as I do, but they definitely are one of my new obsessions and I don't think they receive the clout that they deserve. If you're ever curious to know any of the products that I'm using in this video, everything will be conveniently listed in the description box down below. So of course, this is Relax in a Restyle episode two. Thank you guys for all of your feedback on the last video. I'm glad that some of you guys enjoyed it. Now, of course, like the views ain't like what I would love them to be, but <laughs> I'm gonna make this video anyways. I'm gonna continue to do them because I enjoy doing them. And yeah, again, this is super relaxing for me and I hope that it's relaxing for you as well. So of course, I started these makeovers by washing the Pixling's hair, so I always like to start out with some cold water at first, especially if the dolls have maybe a like pre-curled nylon or if they have any texture whatsoever, I like to start out with cold water. Then I'll go in with one of my various shampoos that I have. I just choose what shampoo I'm going to use depending on the condition of the hair. Typically, I'll just use the strawberry scented suave, but you know, again, it all kind of depends. The Pixlings don't have a whole bunch of gel in their hair. They mainly have gel towards the ends if they have gel at all. So yes, it was a very like pleasing hair washing experience. No, of the hair ended up frying or acting weird and I truly hope that other companies take note that the dolls don't have to have a ton of product loaded in the hair to stay nice in the packaging like most children do not want to have to wait for their parents to wash out the hair so that it can be um, manageable and easy to play with even though let's be honest most parents probably don't do that and that's why when the dolls are second hand and their hair is pretty, pretty trash. <laughs> But of course, I also condition and rinse the dolls. When I'm conditioning nylon, I always, always, always like to use the Garnier Fruities Sleek and Shine. That is my go-to for any nylon haired dolls. <laughs> Thank you. 
And of course, when I'm being impatient, I like to set the dolls in front of the fan just to help them dry a little bit quicker. So moving on to styling the pixelings. So I didn't do anything special to any of these dolls. All I did was go in and clean up and neaten up each one of their hair. Sometimes that is all a doll needs. Like most of the time, that's all the doll needs. So yeah, that's what I did today. Of course, I used my favorite products and this is not sponsored, but of course I used my Volks Treatment Mist and also my Volks water wax and of course i'll make sure to link those down in the description box below but these are my tried and true products for styling doll hair especially nylon it just helps the hair stick together and look super sleek and super smooth which is what i like now this is for anybody who may be thinking about purchasing those products it does weigh the hair down a bit so if you're going to be playing with the doll a lot you probably won't want to use that on your dolls because it does give the hair a slightly waxy feeling it doesn't make it super greasy or anything but i will say it does weigh the hair down which may not be ideal for play but of course it's fine for me because all my dolls do is stand on the display. I like my dolls to look very commercial ready if that makes sense. Like very ready for photographs, very ready for, you know, um, a museum. <laughs> That's the only thing that I can think of. Also, I'm showing you guys my new technique for curling nylon doll hair, and this is for nylon only, because Saran, you can't curl with a curling iron. I mean, you can, but it honestly won't be worth it. But I curl the hair dry without any product in it. This is just going to create a nice, loose wave. The... Uh, Technique I was using before, I would put a little bit of curl cream in the hair and spray it with a little bit of water. Now you can continue to do that if you want the hair to have a lot of hold, but usually what I'm going for is a nice looser wave. So what I do is I curl the hair, again with zero product, and then after that I will go in with a comb and kind of comb and brush things out to loosen it up. And then I'll go in after the hair has been curled and brushed out and I'll go in with a little bit of water wax to smooth away any flyaways and that's just how I've been preferring my doll's hair to look as of recently but yeah my old method still works and I'll attach a little card above if you want to see how to make like super defined nice ringlets from the get-go. I would love to know which pixelings do you own? Which one is your favorite design? I would personally have to say that the mermaid is my favorite one. Of course, she is one of the first releases, so maybe I'm a little bit biased to that. And like I said, I did get to see her at Sweet Sweet, so maybe she has a little bit of sentimental value to me. But I don't know, I just love her cute little side part. I love the kind of pink and blue scheme that she has going on and I think that the little mermaid skirt is super cute but the mermaid is definitely my favorite you'll have to let me know yours in the comment section down below <laughs> One thing I always get asked in the comment section is how do I find rubber bands that last a long time? And I wanna say always, always, always save the rubber bands from the original hairstyle. Those are gonna be the best rubber bands that you can find. They will last forever or at least, you know, 20 plus years. So save your rubber bands. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're not convinced by now, I don't know any other way to convince you. Magic Mixies Pixlings is that girl. I can only imagine that in 2024, these dolls are only gonna get better. I will say I do hope that they eventually get rid of the magic potion gimmick. It is fun to do, but it is a lot of extra plastic and a lot of extra play sets that I honestly don't need. These dolls retail for $17.99, which honestly isn't a bad price point, but they could be even better if they were to get rid of that playset magic potion gimmick. So maybe they will eventually do a more budget version that is less expensive with the same quality as these are. But what I would like to see is for Moose Toys to make Magic Mixies Pixlings into like a 10 to 12 inch fashion doll with again the same quality nylon hair with the same quality designs. I most definitely think that there is room on the market for a mystical magic creature themed fashion doll line. Of course we have Monster High but Pixlings gives a new fun fresh aesthetic that I really really think the doll market could use but of course those are just my opinions i would love to hear yours in the comment section down below of course don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and honestly i don't know what the next video will be but you guys let me know what you want to see in the comment section down below as well i love you guys so much have a great week peace